up everybody? I hope you guys are all doing great and if you are new here to this channel and this video, my name is Sandra. I am an interior designer here in Illinois. I share my experience in the interior design industry as well as giving out design tips for anybody out there. Occasional fitness videos. Okay, yeah. So, as a designer, I normally don't source or pick furniture pieces from Target or should I say Target? But I recently have been inspired to share with you all uh, furniture items that I would use in a design. Let's call them Sandra approved furniture pieces because you know, to be honest, I'm a little picky. Since there is a ton, and I mean a ton of furniture that Target sells, I'm just going to narrow it down to just living room items for now. So I'm going to share my favorite accent chairs, sofa sectionals, and coffee tables. So let's get started. I just want to let you guys know that I went through every page possible for accent chairs, sofa sectionals, and coffee tables because I wanted to make sure I gave every furniture piece a fair shot and see if it was Sandra worthy. Um, so there was quite a lot. Quite a lot. But let's get started with accent chairs. The first piece is called the, the Esther's Word Arm Chair, and I feel like it's very popular. A lot of people buy this one, and I could see why it's very beautiful furniture piece. I love the legs and the kind of wood graining around the cushions too. The arms, again, very nice, nicely made, and I like the fabric that it offers. Neutral colors. The colors don't look bad. Um, just don't get plaid green. That looks hideous. The next one is called the Sahara Modern Chair. And I actually spec something super similar to this back when I worked with a firm. Um, I really like the arms, how it's just cushioned in there. The stainless steel legs, very sleek. And I uh, also like the fabric options. I just don't know how I feel about the blue. Again, try to stay away from the blue. The third one is called the Lincoln Chair. Now, I'm not a huge fan of wingback chairs, to be honest. I just, most of them very, just look very traditional. But this one, passed it. Passed the standard test. Uh, I like the arm style. It's super sleek, sophisticated. The little brass detail on the legs. Um, a little more expensive. And I also like the fabrics that it offered to. And then the fourth and last one is the Alena accent chair. Uh, this gives me retro vibes. I love the organic back shape and the arms, the little breast detailing. And as you can see, this one is more expensive than the other ones, but they have other options for fabric if you didn't like pink gray and the cream charcoal but again i just really love this one it's very retro and chic now we are going to move to sectionals and sofas which i have four again starting with the florence mid-century sectional i absolutely love these styles of uh, sectionals cognac leather the color doesn't seem too brown or too orange it just seems just right and i like the the legs too it's kind of like this rich dark walnut color which goes very well with the cognac leather a little on the pricey side but i mean i feel like it's pretty standard for that the next one is a node modular sectional sofa i love these types um of sectionals because you can kind of customize it to however you want it shape it uh the only thing is i in the pictures, I don't know if these come apart. I don't think they do, but if you add an ottoman, you can kind of place it wherever you want, make it a little longer or a little comfortable. See how this couple has it? And it has an, a USB outlet, which is pretty neat. And I don't know how I feel about the blue again. <laughs> but, you know, that's the second one. Moving on to the third one. I was a little iffy about this one, to be quite honest. I just don't know what it was about this sofa that I wasn't sold into. But, I mean, it's... I would consider it okay. Um, I think it's the fabric. I think it kind of looks a little suede. I just... I don't think I like the fabric texture. And the legs, too. I like the shape and the outline of the sectional, but... I don't know. It's okay. 
And then the last and final one is the Midway Medway sofa. Again, I love the arm style. It looks very neat and clean. The legs too. Only thing is, it's a little small. So, I mean, if you have a small space, this can work there perfectly. But yeah, those are the sofas I really liked. Not many. The last and final one are coffee tables. And you guys may want to brace yourself for this one because I... It could not narrow it down to four. I found 12 that are Sandra worthy. So let's get started with the first one. Starting with the Mezzi Modern Industrial Coffee Table. Uh, I really liked how it has like kind of like this concrete slab look-alike as a top. And the legs too um, would go very well in industrial space. The second one is called Rochelle Reclaimed Woodrum. I absolutely love these types of coffee tables, just having one solid piece because if there's too many lines going on in the space, this, this fits in perfectly. And it's a good, decent size, so it's 39 inches diameter. I love the color. The third one is called the Pleasant Grove Round Mar Marble Coffee Table. I feel like this is like very sophisticated, very sleek and modern. Designed with Studio McGee, if you guys don't know, they are a pretty popular interior design firm. I love the legs, the sleekness to it, and the marble top. The next one is pretty um, basic and standard, but still will work in any um, type of space where it's industrial or rustic or a little bit of farmhouse. Next up is called the Portman Coffee Table. And this is more on the lighter side for the wood color. It's very airy. Uh, I feel like it can go well in kind of like a Scandinavian vibe. And very decently priced. Moving on is Morgan Round Coffee Table. I fell in love with the leg style of this one. The little crisscross action. The concrete color for the top. Very unique. And it's decently priced too. For the seventh coffee table, I was like, man, this looks super unique and different. I like the different um, heights and tiers of this coffee table. Something you normally don't see. And I was a little bit shocked to see and to know that Target offers this. I didn't even know this. But I love the black marble and the black framing. Again, the different heights, very playful. And then the next one is pretty similar to the one that we saw before. Except this one is oval. It's got a little bit of brass action and white marble. Again, very different and unique. Moving on to the Ke Keelin? Keelin coffee table. Uh, I've actually specced something super similar to this in another project I had worked on. I like the leg detailing. It's very open, clean lines, and I like the light... What is it? Wood? Yeah, light wood color at the top. Moving on, another kind of basic coffee table that's always good and will never go wrong. Um, it's just like all black, very industrial, thin uh, legs and framing. I just feel like you just can't go wrong with this one. And it's decent price. The 11th coffee table is very glam. Uh, very chic and sophisticated. I could see this being paired with like a pink sofa or very girly items. The kind of framing around the little brass detailing, again, very different and I liked it. And the last and final coffee table is called the Modern Bi Level. Again, I have sourced, I was very shocked. I didn't know Target offered these types of coffee tables and let me tell y'all that these were like at the end of like the 38 page long selections you had to go through. Uh, I spec something super similar to this in another project that I worked on. Again, I really loved this different level height, the black marble, very like masculine and industrial. Those were the coffee tables I really liked and Sandra Worthy. There was quite a lot. I really overall liked the uniqueness and different styles that Target had to offer. And again, I was pretty shocked to know that they had these items. And I might be using more of these. <laughs> That is the end of this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you bought any of the furniture pieces that I had mentioned, comment down below and let me know which one you bought. And if you like me, my content, my channel, 
my videos i would love for you to hit that subscribe button to keep the fam growing and i am almost to 500 which blows my mind i didn't think like i just want to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support i am growing and i couldn't have done this without any of each and every one of you uh and i will catch you guys on next week's episode bye you know it's not for me to say you